it seems like this time of year getting work done becomes more and more difficult and we spend a lot more time fighting the snow fighting the mud in order to try and get things done but the weather's been so nice lately and there hasn't been that much snow for this time of year we thought we would try and get some work done on our own property and one of the things that we need to get done is burn a bunch of slash that we created last summer in clearing some of these roads and opening some of this space on the lower property we really enjoy the lower property it's very quiet it's private but it is difficult to access and creating a road down to the lower property and being able to get down there and then get back up the hill is extremely difficult getting down the hill isn't too bad but getting back up the hill especially with some of the turns I uh, probably should have put the chains on the truck but I was bound and determined to make it up the hill without having to put chains on or to have to go get a piece of equipment or plow the road So after making it down to the lower property to take a look at how much snow there was and what shape the roads were in, we decided that taking the excavator down and stirring the slash pile a bit and seeing if we could get a fire lit and do some burning would be something that we could get done. Typically this time of year we have a lot more snow. We wouldn't even think about doing something like this. But with only a few inches, maybe a foot in some spots, clearing the road off, pushing the snow out of the way, and opening up the road down to the lower property seemed like a project that would be quick and easy it would help get things moved along give us a jump start on spring and summer which with the weather that we're having right now seems like it could be right around the corner this is not a normal February you can see that the machines pushing snow around but it's all put also pushing a lot of dirt there's just not very much frost in the ground here especially with the insulation of the snow on top of it typically we would see a foot of frost maybe more it was a bit of a challenge getting the machine down the hill getting the snow pushed off the road getting things opened up so that we could get into the slash pile and start to pile up slash and hopefully get the slash pile burning it's funny how you start out with a plan in mind and things come up things happen and a project that you think might take a couple of hours ends up taking all day this is one of those ones where we didn't get a whole lot accomplished but we did learn a lot we learned a lot about the road and and some of the changes we'd like to make to the road that that accesses down to the lower half of our property after trying to fight the snow definitely want the road to be wider we definitely would like there to be the ditches on the uphill side like the turns to be wider giving their more room to push snow and then to be able to to swing wider the 
the road is just going to have to develop over time and I'm sure it will as we continue to use it and see what works and what doesn't spending more time on the lower property and certainly using the road more often will give us a better understanding of which part of the roads need better drainage or maybe where on the road needs more gravel but it'll just have to evolve over time We get a lot of people that reach out to us on social media that want to know when we're going to start our house or work on our project. Typically we spend most of the building season working for other people, working on other projects that we really haven't made a lot of progress on our own property. Not to say that we haven't gotten anything done. We have cleared two home sites. We built 600 foot of road. We've consolidated all the slash, we've burnt a ton of slash and stumps, and more importantly, we spent a lot of time on the property understanding the property and, and how things work, which, which spots are sunny, which spots are, are wetter than other spots, where the water seems to run where the soil changes, where the, where the rock is at, where the, where the silty clays and soils are at. It's been good to spend time on the property before just buying it and putting in a house only to find out later that maybe we should have moved the home site or maybe, um, maybe putting in different drainage or doing something different would have been better. So that's the that's the story that I tell myself every time I wish I had the house done that I I'm, I'm getting to know the property I'm getting to know all of its kind of quirks and it's going to let us be able to develop the property better and and ultimately be able to build a house and have a property that fits our needs better because it'll be in better harmony with with the land with with the nature around it there's a lot of things that are surprising on this property we have a pond at the top of the property and in the winter time like now where there's warm days or there's rain the pond fills up in the winter time and then we notice that there's there's areas they get really saturated and it's not that it's the ponds overrunning or overflowing it's that the the soils around the ponds become the, the pond become very saturated and water starts to drain down to the lower property and that's just going to be something that we're going to have to deal with but I think about that a lot when I, I think we could have bought this, built a house, and then discovered later that we had put our foundation right in the middle of, a, of an underground kind of drainage, river, whatever it might be, overflow for the pond, and have had all sorts of problems. So if you're not in a big hurry to develop your property, to create your homestead, the more time you could spend on the property watching the different seasons and how things interact I think ultimately it would allow you to to build things on the property that are, are gonna end up giving you a lot less headache you can see we've gotten a mountain an absolute mountain of slash from from opening up the roads from opening up space and we had bought the property, the previous owner had logged the property pretty heavily and there was a lot of stumps, there was a lot of just down trees, there was a lot of, of just cleanup that needed to be done. You can see there in the trees we've parked it out pretty well, cleaned up all of the, the little tiny trees, we pulled out the stumps, really tried to clean up the property 
and in doing so we have generated a lot of slash but we're looking forward to summertime and having some of this area opened up we're hoping that it'll allow the grass to grow that things will green up with a lot more sunlight hoping the grasses will will invite a lot more wildlife we'll, we'll see a lot more animals on the property so there's been quite a bit of of work to develop this property I keep using the word develop uh, and and property but really this is this is our homestead this is our 10 acres that's ours to to build out and to develop for our family and yeah, it's, it's, it's been an, a really exciting process that we've had this property the last few years and our idea of the property has changed the potential that we've seen in the property has changed and I think we're all as a family looking forward to to the future on this property because the potential just seems endless as we start to gain access to more of the property as we've spent time on the property whether it's watching the seasons change with the pond or having the animals on the property it's just an absolute our own little universe in this 10 acres that we can can do with whatever we want to create whatever we want to do the things that we want to do we've got the space the kids were talking about getting pigs they wanted to do goats uh, certainly more chickens and we've got the space for that we've got the room to do that kids want to do a bigger garden this year and we now we've got things opened up and access to the property where we could could do a larger garden with a more permanent setup let us do a lot better soil amendment and hopefully end up with a better garden than we had in the last year. So sometimes it seems frustrating that we've got we've got this property and we have this idea of what we want it to be with a house and with animals and gardens and open space and trails and planting fruit trees and on and on and on all these things we want to do to this to our little homestead and it seems frustrating sometimes that it it all just takes time and money and that those two commodities seem to be the sometimes the most difficult to to get our hands on is the, is the time and money but this time of year uh, time becomes available we certainly have more time and so being able to get into the property and work on the slash pile and open things up, push the snow out of the way, but just take advantage of the, of the little time that we have before the busy season starts and make some progress on the property. I think all this blue sky and sunshine has got us really excited about summertime and making progress here on the property, being able to get the garden set up, be able to work on the tree house with the kids, set up new areas for, for additional animals, and just spend more time as a family out on the property doing the things that that we love to do and that always bring us together and get us spending more time together making memories and having fun it's sad that it's just the middle of february and that we've got a long long ways to go to get through winter to get through spring break up to get all this snow to melt out and things to dry out so that we could get in here and work on other things but it seems like time will go by real quick 
and we'll be out here working on stuff. Appreciate you watching the video and coming along with us. Love to hear from you and what you're working on on your homestead. Things that you're doing, whatever projects you might be working on. Share those with us in the comments below. Again, thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next video.